So just keep watching, keep watching, keep loving all school and colleges, loving me and listen this video till the end. So the first and the foremost, if you want to do BTEC in computer science engineering, you have to understand two terms very importantly. You have to listen to a lot of attention today, which I am going to tell you. We sometimes in our daily life, we usually get confused between two worlds, 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 words the first is what is computer engineering and the second is what is computer science engineering don't know the difference hey guys and today i'm going to tell you the difference the core difference between what is computer engineering and what is computer science engineering so let's sit back and relax and watch this video the first is computer engineering yeah what is that computer engineering typically focuses on or specifically focuses on computer hardware and computer software. It is an integrated or it is an amalgamation, a mixture of computer science and electrical engineering. Yes. Now let's talk about computer science engineering. Computer science engineering is an umbrella term. It, it's an umbrella term which encompasses four major areas of computing. Yeah, in, in, in compass karta hai, it considered the four major units of computing. The first unit is what? The first unit is theory. The second unit is algorithms. The third is programming languages. And last but not the least, architecture. I hope you've got the difference. Now let us talk about the second difference. People get confused between what is BE and what is BTEC. So I'm going to tell you the difference. BE is considered, BE is considered a knowledge-oriented course where they give more emphasis or they give more keen interest in giving theoretical information. Theoretical information, right? BE is considered a more knowledge-oriented in giving theoretical inf information. Now let us talk about BTEC. What is exactly BTEC? BTEC is skill-oriented skill oriented which gives more emphasis in practical knowledge simple i hope you got the difference now let's move on if you want to do btech in computer engineering i'm going to tell you the course highlights the first and the foremost is the level of this course is graduation the duration of this course is four years the type of this examination will be degree it's not diploma it's degree the admission process is merit-based or entrance based that's it let us move eligibility if you are 10 plus 2 pass if you have qualified your 12th exam you are capable of doing btech in computer engineering last but not the least the course fee kitni lagegi that is the most important question fee kitni hogi the fee will be inr 1 to 2 repeat the fee will be INR 1 to 12 lakhs. Yes. The eligibility criteria to pursue the course of BTEC in computer engineering will be that at least you have to require 55% aggregate in physics, chemistry, and maths. 55%. And you have to qualify your 12th exam. Right. Entrance test. The entrance test that you have to qualify that will be J connected by the university or you can give ITJ that is IITJ or AIEEE or BITSAT last and the wait, the subjects covered to cover the subjects on exam on exams mein, ya fir on examination mein subjects cover kiya jayenge, that will be physics chemistry maths English and general aptitude now let's talk about the most amazing and the most important thing 
and that is the top institutes in your city and the average annual fee ki aap ki if you want to do if you want to do btech in computer engineering the top universities kaun kaun si universities hain aur unki annual fee kitni hai let's talk about it. let us go and discuss this in detail the first is indra college of engineering and management The city is Pune. You have a college based here, and the annual fee will be in INR is one point four lakh. The second college is Maharashtra Institute of Technology. It's again in Pune, and an and average average annual fee in INR will be three point five lakh. The third is Chandigarh University, which is based in Chandigarh. The an the average annual fee will be one point six lakh. Bilda Institute of Technology and Science that is Bits Pilani it's uh, the average annual fee will be 6.6 lakh Anamalai University now Anamalai Anamalai University is based in Bangalore and the annual fee will be 4 lakh 40000 now let's talk about Vidya Lankar University of Technology I repeat Vidya Lankar University of Technology it's based in Mumbai and the annual fee is 2.6 lakh ac patel college of engineering it's in navi mumbai and the annual fee will be 1.9 lakh now let's talk about iid varanasi agar aap iid varanasi mein ja rahe hain to jo annual fee hogi wo hogi aapki takriban 2 lakh ke kareeb 2.0 lakh and uh, agar aap dtu mein jaate hain which is delhi technical university and last but not the least agar aap bits hyderabad jaate hain jo ki hyderabad mein based hai to aapki average annual fee hogi 4 lakh guys if you want to opt a private sector career after doing btech in computer engineering private sector i have a lot of options for you starting from if you are a you can be starting from you can be software development engineer agar aap btech karte hain computer engineering mein to private sector मैं आप जा सकते हैं इन इन फील्ड में द फर्स्ट इज सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इंजीनियर सेकेंड इज टेक्निकल सॉल्यूशन इंजीनियर हार्डवेयर एंड नेटवर्किंग इंजीनियर इंस्टॉलेशन इंजीनियर सिस्टम इंजीनियर टेक्निकल कंटेंट राइटर रोबोटिक इंजीनियर एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टर सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्ट स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द एम्प्लॉयमेंट एरियाज The private sector employment areas after doing BTech and computer engineering are application development companies, database management companies, game development organizations, enterprise architect, hardware designing companies, and last but not the least, software development companies. Now there are few people those who are interested in government jobs as well, right? So guy in Okri. तो सरकारी नौकरी हमारे पास तो नहीं है लेकिन हम ये जरूर बता सकते हैं कि आप कहां कहां जा सकते हैं उस नौकरी को पाने के लिए टॉप रिक्रूटमेंट कंपनीज आफ्टर डूइंग बी टैक इन दिस कोर्स The top recruitment companies कौन कौन सी हैं? NIT, IBM, Larsen and Turbo, Oracle. There are lot of companies. HCL, Tata, Infosys. Every. Just go. Do your best. Work hard, and you can be in this company earning so well. Students, let's talk about very important aspect. That aspect is salary aspect. कितना मिलेगा आपको? So if you are, मैं बता देता हूं आपको अगर आप सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर हैं किसी कंपनी में सो आपकी मिनिमम अप्रॉक्स सैलरी जितनी होगी वो कितनी होगी मिनिमम अप्रॉक्स सैलरी होगी आपकी दो लाख पर एन एम टू लाख पर एन एम एंड इट कैन गो अप टिल एटीन पॉइंट टू लाख पर एन एम एंड माइंड यू गाइज ये अप्रॉक्स है अगर आप टेस्टिंग इंजीनियर बनते हैं तो आपकी मिनिमम होगी टू लाख पर एन एम एंड कैन डू गो टू सिक्सटीन पॉइंट टू लैख पर एन एम अगर आप सिस्टम एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर हैं तो टू पॉइंट वन लैख पर एन एम टू फिफ्टीन पॉइंट थ्री लैख पर एन एम अगर आप सिस्टम एनालिस्ट हैं तो टू पॉइंट फाइव लैख पर एन एम टू टू 
गैस करो गैस करो सेवनटी पॉइंट सिक्स लाख पर है ना अगर आप टेक्निकल सपोर्ट इंजीनियर बनते हैं टेक्निकल सपोर्ट इंजीनियर तो टू पॉइंट नाइन लाख पर है ना टू सिक्सटीन पॉइंट सेवन लाख पर है ना लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट अगर आप टेक्निकल एडिटर हैं तो आपको सैलरी कितनी मिलेगी मिनिमम आपको मिलेगी 1.5 लाख पर एनम से 16 लाख 16 लाख पर एनम डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय ब्यूटीफुल पीपल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द एनुअल सैलरी इन आईएनआर द ग्राफ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द ग्राफ कॉलेजेस एंड यू कैन सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल You can ask any query, any doubt that you are having right now. You can consult our counselors. You can make your parents visit our company that is all school colleges. You can message us and.